Hi, Scott Seiferline here coming to you from the International Indoor Golf Studio of GrandRapidsGolfLesson.com. And today we're going to talk about the Just Say No campaign. You're probably familiar with it from the 1980s as a Just Say No to Drugs campaign, but I'm actually talking about just saying no to all the things that are in your life that are sucking time away from your golf game. And I want you to evaluate those things and see if they are more important or less important than your golf game. Now, of course, some of them are going to be more important, obviously. But some of those things, think about all those things that are sucking your time that are less important than your golf game. For example, a couple of years ago, I started an international holiday called International Facebook Freedom Month, where you take an entire month off of social media, Facebook, or any type of social media that you want. Maybe you'll even take off from email for an entire month. And I've been participating in that holiday for a couple of years now, and it takes place in the month of August. And wouldn't you know it, I play the most golf uh, throughout the entire year during the month of August because I've eliminated that part of my life. So I just said no to social media. And I encourage you to do something similar to that with anything in your life that's less important than golf so you can get back to playing more golf. Now I also want to talk about just saying no to a few golf tips today. So I'm going to highlight a golf tip, a couple, a couple of golf tips actually that I want you to just say no to. Okay, the first golf tip to just say no to is the golf tip that tells you to swing slow. I'm sure you've all been told to swing slow, but let's see what happens when we swing slow. All right, so that ball went perfectly straight, right? But it probably only went about 50 yards. And that's typically what's gonna happen is you'll swing slow and you're gonna hit the ball shorter. So let's see an example of swinging fast. If we just say no to swinging slow, and we swing fast, we can see that oftentimes our ball is going to go just as straight, sometimes even straighter, than when we swing slow. And the other thing is it can go 30, 50, sometimes 80 yards farther when we add that speed. So just say no to swinging slow. Now the second golf tip that you want to just say no to is the one about keeping your arms straight. So I hear that often times, and I know a lot of golfers are exposed to that, keeping your arms straight. But what happens when you keep your arms straight is you'll set up like this with a lot of tension, and that doesn't allow for any swing speed. So oftentimes the people that have been told to swing slow also have a straight arm or even try to have a straight arm and it's intentional because they've also been told to have a straight arm and they will lose distance as well. The other thing is they're told to have a straight arm all the way up at the top of the swing but in reality if you look at the better players they usually have 20 to 30 degrees of elbow bend so you can see some significant elbow bend right here compared to a straight arm. So you don't want to have a straight arm because again that creates tension there's all sorts of tension up in here that decreases your swing speed. So you want to allow for a little bit of elbow bend, 20 to 30 degrees. Keep good width, but 20 to 30 degrees is definitely permissible. So just say no to a straight arm.